Here we're going to tie a little fly called Sloan's Mighty Mite Betas. First thing we're going to do is just start our thread. Now the next thing we're going to do is take about a half a dozen or so uh, fibers from a pheasant tail. We're going to tie these tails in so that they're very short, only about the length of the, the straighter portion of the shank. Shorter is better with the tails on this fly. We're just going to tie these in right on top of the shank of the hook. And then we're going to wrap down the bend of the hook just a little ways. And then we can take our thread forward. Now the next thing to do is to take some pearlescent uh, tinsel in a, a medium size. We're going to tie this tinsel right on top of the shank of the hook. We're going to take our thread all the way back to the tail. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in some olive small D-rib also going to tie this in right at the back then we're going to take our thread forward with nice even smooth wraps to cover up all that D-rib then we can trim out the excess Now we're just going to leave our thread up by the thorax. Then we're going to take this D-rib. We're going to wrap it with one wrap. Then I'm going to take my pearlescent tinsel and I'm going to pull it over the top of that first wrap I made. Then I'm going to make another wrap. Then I'm going to pull it back, make another wrap pull it over the top. So all I'm doing is I'm alternating this pearlescent tinsel going over the top and then also going underneath. It should only take you four or five wraps, especially on a smaller Mighty Mite. Then when you get to the thorax you can capture both the tinsel and that D-rib. Then we can trim both out of the way. And we can reposition our hook here now that uh, I've got that tail tied in. And what that's done is it's created just a hint of flash and segmentation on the fly. Then we're going to wrap back over the thorax here. We want our thorax to be about the length of where our thread hits the uh, point of the hook. We're going to tie in some black pheno skin. You can also use mottled colors as well. This will be our casing. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take two pieces of peacock curl. We're going to tie these in right at the back of the thorax. Then I'm going to take that peacock curl and I'm going to do one turn. And I'm going to capture it with one wrap of thread. Then I'm going to take a uh, piece of black crystal flash. I'm going to tie it in right in the middle of that uh, thorax. I'm going to take uh, my thread forward. And then I'm going to take another wrap with the peacock curl. Capture it. Then I'm going to take another piece of black crystal flash. I'm going to tie that in. These are essentially going to be the legs of the fly. And once I have that leg tied in, I'm just going to take my peacock curl and also wrap right in front of it. And I'm going to capture it. And then you're going to do a last set of legs. You should have three legs on each side for a total of six legs all together.
once you've got those tied in. If there's room, you can do one more wrap with your peacock curl. If there's not room, then I usually just capture it. I kind of ran out of room there, so I'm just going to finish it off. And then we're going to take that piece of uh, pheno skin. I'm going to pull it tight over the top of the fly. Lay down a couple secure wraps. And I'm going to trim that pheno skin out of there. And the last thing to do is to quickly whip finish. Then you can trim your legs. I usually like to kind of position the legs a little bit before I trim them. Just kind of spread them, spread them all out if you can. They should all kind of face backwards at a slight angle. There we go. And how I usually trim them is I pull them all down together very carefully. We're going to trim them just above the, the gap of the hook. And I usually like to trim them at a bit of an angle so the front ones are a little bit longer. Just like so. And then you can position them if you uh, need to. go. And that is the Mighty Mite Betas. Great little buggy fly. Imitates a small blue winged olive or a mayfly nymph. You can see those legs there. And you can find all the materials for this little fly on our website in the riffle.com. If you're watching this on YouTube there is a link below the video in the description box that you can click to follow to our website and that will take you to all the recipe information uh, and also uh, links to the materials and that is the Sloan's Mighty Might Betas